that thing big, that member dangling in between your legs, you got that in you. If they disrespect that, I, I know I know some homosexual dudes that will go there if you disrespect it, um, one of their female family members in, in their presence. They would like go there. But again, that don't make you gangster for doing that. See, there's there's a, a protocol. There's levels to doing it. I, I'm not gonna, you know, sit up here and tell people how to react. Cause like that's one of them situations you don't never know until you're in that situation. It's easy to say what you will do, what you shouldn't do from the outside looking in. But Will was like 54, he knew better than that. Whether it was staged or whether it was real, he knew better than that. Um, so he apologized to the Academy Award. So to my brother, Will, Will Smith, I hope. He's proud of himself on being the bigger man all these years. I hope he continues to be, you know, the role model for masculinity that he's been being all these years and bring it full circle and offer a sincere apology to a brother Chris Rock. Because that's just what men do. So if you call yourself a man, apologize. That's what men do when they wrong. They apologize. We don't operate out of emotion and impulse. That's the difference between a man and a woman. You know, that's the nature of a woman. You're a man, right? Women operate on impulse and emotion. That's what we're for. They're there to test us. We're there to be, you know, she's there to be our peace. We're there to be her anchor in the storm. Because they always going through it. Because they let, you know, emotion and impulse dictate their life. And not in a bad way, ladies. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, a bad trait. That's a very good trait. Because in that, you know, emotion comes compassion, comes empathy, comes nurturing. That's why you guys are the giver of life. You guys are our portals into this dimension. So, of course, that's why you have the emotion. Not saying um, men, you know, shouldn't feel and shouldn't, you know, make their emotions known how you're feeling, but to act on impulse to let your emotions override you, that's something different. So, exceptions to that logic is when you're dealing with these race subjects, because they've already got to their mind made up about you. So when they come into your um, circumference and trying to, you know, project and impose, impose and impart their will upon you, because they already see you as less than, then you got every right to line their ass up to check on you either verbally or physically. Um, for certain situations with being manhood with chivalry, um, who dictated the laws of chivalry is um, colonial, like, you know, Europeans. They made up chivalry. These guys that wear tights and wigs and makeup. Those were people who uh, made up the rules of chivalry. And this kind of, so since we're talking about, I just want I just got this on my mind, since we're talking about jokes. Um, God bless the soul, uh, Charlie Murphy, 
I, I forget what, what his special was, but he had a joke about chivalry. He was like, in his bed, he's like, don't no man smack a man. The fuck? Don't no man smack no man. You don't smack no man. It's like in them old time days. When the man smacked the man, he took his glove off, smacked him across the face with the door. But after he did that, somebody had to go. <laughs> All right, be Charlie, but my point being, like, we don't do that, bruh. Men don't do that. We don't go around smacking another man. That's a no no. Another one is spitting on somebody. That can get you plucked in our community. You like to take and spit on somebody. Uh, another no no is putting your feet on somebody. We don't play that in our uh, community. That's why a whole lot of people don't even take martial arts. Like, man, if MF would put their feet on me, boy. So those are the two dirtiest parts of your mouth. Your mouth and your feet. You're going to spit on somebody. You're going to put your little raggedy feet on somebody. <laughs> Could have poop on the bottom of your feet. I don't know. But, um, so basically I'm going to end it here. I went way longer and way more in-depth than I initially um, intended to. But I just want to leave you with the final thoughts. Think critically. Don't be so quick to, you know, circulate news like this. Because we had our own award show. Um, I think it was the, uh, the Essence Image Awards or something. Um, you know, uh, uh, they had a little, uh, he, um, Lorenz Tate had reenacted his uh, role in uh, Love Jones, and he did a spoken word poem for Nia Long. Like, that's the type of stuff we need to be sharing. We don't need this shit be sharing a black man smacking another black man. Like, we don't need to be having town hall meetings like that. And before that, it was the uh, people chiming in on the um, uh, B.L. Hughley and um, Kanye West. Like, we don't need to just keep on making moments like this last longer than a moment. Let the moment pass. You don't have to share that type of con content. You don't got to sit up there and jump in the comment section every time you see it in your timeline. You don't. The media is supply and demand. If we don't demand seeing ratchet stuff like this, they will not supply it. This type of moments won't happen if we stop supporting it. I'm telling you. We're our own silver bullet. We shooting our own stuff in the foot. Sharing this type of stuff, sharing the memes and stuff on social media. If we don't go for the nonsense, people won't be coming at us with the nonsense. To in, you know, to to dive in and participate in that nonsense, it's just compounded nonsense. You compound the nonsense by participating in it, by putting it on your posts. Like, yeah, it was funny in that moment. It was funny in that moment. But let the moment pass, because the moment's already passed. News flash, the moment's passed. It happened on Sunday. It happened on Thursday. Will Smith is still doing Will Smith shit. Chris Rock is still doing Chris Rock shit. And both of them niggas is rich. What are you? They're over it. Why aren't you over it? That's my time. Narrative podcast. Halsey Allen signing off. <laughs>